Okay, so if you're confused about how to do a monohybrid cross, I'm hoping that this video will help. So, the genotypes for both individuals involved in a monohybrid cross would have one uppercase and one lowercase letter. I'm choosing R to represent this gene, whatever it is. Um, and because these individuals, because this is a monohybrid cross, we know that each of the individuals involved should be heterozygous for this trait. The next step is to set up the Punnett square. So when you do that, you're imagining each, in, each of these individuals forming gametes. This individual, because it has a copy of the big R version of this gene and the little r version of this gene, can make both of those types of gametes. So it could make gametes that have a big R in it, or it could make gametes that have a little r in it. The other individual, since it has the same genotype, is in the same boat. So it could make gametes that either had a big R or a little r. So we set up the gametes for that individual on the other axis of this square. And when we do the Punnett square, we need to, um, what we're doing is we're putting together these gametes in all of the different combinations that they could possibly come together in if fertilization were to happen between these two individuals. So if a big R sperm from this individual met up with a big R egg from this individual, we would have an offspring that had the genotype big R, big R. If the big R egg met with the little r sperm, we would end up with an offspring that had the heterozygous genotype. That could happen another way. If the big R sperm met up with the little r egg in fertilization. And then finally, there's one chance that these two individuals could have an offspring with both of um, the little letters, little r, little r. So um, this is how you do a monohybrid cross. The next step is interpreting the Punnett square. So um, let's say that the gene that we're looking at is for um, flower color in purples, uh, flower color in peas. So the dominant gene, the big R, means that the offspring have purple flowers. So both of our parents had purple flowers. The Punnett square is going to tell us what the phenotypic ratio would be in their offspring. So we should be able to see that one, two, three of their offspring would look just like them. They would have purple flowers too. And one of their offspring wouldn't look like them. In this case, they would have white flowers. So. Um, usually, you're asked when you do a genetics problem like this to do the Punnett square and then also state the phenotypic ratio. So in this case, the phenotypic ratio would be a 3 to 1 phenotypic ratio. I hope this helps.